Hello and welcome back to my little greenhouse in my garden. Um, today I'm going to show you what you do once the seedlings have germinated and um, I'll show you this um, using a tray that I've already germinated. You fill the tray in the same way that you would when you were seed sowing, using the presser board to make sure it's level. You then um, remove each seedling carefully. The reason we're doing this is to give each seedling the space it needs to grow because in this tray they're too overcrowded and they could become leggy and too tall. In this tray we're going to space them out to the correct spacing so that we can leave them in there for, for quite a while. You might wonder why we're not putting them directly into pots. Um, you could do but um, that would take up more space in your greenhouse. So you handle them by the leaf don't handle them by the stem because if you handle them by the stem you could damage the stem which would cause could cause um, a pathogen like damping off disease to get into the plant. You would then make the appropriate amount of holes in the tray to space them out evenly and you make a large hole, I usually find a pencil is quite useful for this, make a large hole so that the seedling drops straight in and then you fill the hole. Here is the finished tray of um, pricked out seedlings. You can see that they've got a lot more space than when, when they were in this tray and I imagine I'll be able to get another tray out of these as well. Um, these are snapdragons, antirhinums, which are a bedding plant um, which you can use as summer bedding. And then of course you would put a label in the tray giving the name of the plant and the date which is very important these would then stay in the greenhouse until they were big enough to plant out in containers or in the border as um, a bedding plant <laughs> 